NASA is downplaying a rather alarming report about a possible asteroid strike on Earth. Scientists overseas say the space rock named TV-135, whose orbit is seen here, roughly, could hit Earth in the year 2032. They say it's, in fact, wider than four football fields. By comparison, the asteroid that struck Russia in February was just 55 feet wide. You see footage of that here. NASA believes the newly discovered asteroid has but a 1 in 48,000 chance of hitting Earth. The idea that an asteroid could hit the Earth one day. NASA has a very serious proposal. Why not go into space and try to capture one so we can learn more about asteroids? And this is how they propose to do that. A very powerful rocket would take off from Earth and it would launch what's called an asteroid redirect vehicle, which is essentially a robotic spacecraft which would shoot off into space driven by the most powerful solar electric propulsion system we've ever seen. Now, it wouldn't actually go beyond the stars, but this does give you a sense that it would go many, many hundreds of thousands of miles off into space looking for a very small target because the asteroids thereafter would only be about this big, as big as two or three big pickup trucks, although this would weigh as much as two freight train engines, and it would be rotating slowly. That's a challenge because they have to stop that before they can transport it. So let me scale this down to size so you have a better idea of what we're talking about. Because as the redirect vehicle comes toward it, it will deploy a giant technical space bag and over a period of hours gradually ease that over the rotating asteroid and squeeze down on it to stop that rotation. Then the whole shebang will take off flying back toward the Earth and more importantly toward the Moon where it would go into a rotation around the Moon about 40,000 miles above the lunar surface. This way, scientists could travel out there, astronauts, to visit this asteroid and conduct experiments on it. Why would we do this, though? This will cost many, many billions of dollars at a time when the country doesn't have much money. Well, the scientific community says because it will give us very important knowledge about new deep space technologies, propulsion systems, solar energy, all sorts of things that we use all the time on Earth. Secondly, it would actually give us an idea of what to do if we had an asteroid coming toward Earth. We've handled one. We'd have some idea how to handle another. And just as importantly, we would find out what sort of minerals and things are contained inside these asteroids, whether or not that's something we could mine for purposes on Earth or perhaps to be used in future exploration further into space. Bottom line, they say, yes, it's expensive, but it's called exploration because you never really know what you might find.